rolling. Right. So to us. Yeah man, it's back. Tell us um, please how you first became aware that you had this singing voice. Okay, it's way back. I used to go to church with my parents, you know? And um, it's a kind of clap on church. And they used to have concert, concert and I, I was just, I was just about 12. I can remember and doing things like that. And every time I sang, people make a little nice clap and joyful, you know? And going to school after singing class and so, and everybody lift me up. <laughs> so, um, come up in church, you call order, you know. I was go up just like that. So that's where the talent come from. Um, that's why most of my songs is like, it's coming from the church, it really, uh, not political really, but you know, sometimes people may find it that way too, you know. That's where I come, yeah. Um, which part of Jamaica was this where you were going to church? Oh, this was um, in Maypen, where we I'm from, Clarendon really. And also, but when I grew up in the singing and come to Kingston when I was about 13, I think uh, about that then. Then I uh, found this church called Coptic and some rest of them, you know? And, and that's where I was for a long, long time. And stopped singing and everything for a long time just to know about the truth of Rastafari and things like that. So it's, it's two different church, you know? Um, who was it? Who brought you to the Coptic Church? No one brought me. I just heard of them and went up there in the hills and saw them. We talk and they know that I was one of the prophets. And they treat me as a prophet. Because I know there's certain thing um, that you have to do in this world. Once you do it, you can know that you're one of them. This was all before you started your professional career? No, after that. So, when you first started your professional career, I mean, last year now, King Edwards told us that you sung a dub plate for him first before you made a, a record. Yeah, that's true. And you approached him, King Edwards? Yes, I, I, I first come from the country. Uh, after people told me that, yeah, you can sing and so was seeking out this uh, um, the singing business, and I come to Kingston in Change Town, and I heard of King King Edwards. He's <laughs> a very great man, you know. I said, hey, right. and you know, he just said, I like the way you sing, you know, man. Come and let me try it. I sang a song called um, Rose Marie. I, I don't remember if it's that song or what. I, I think it's this thing, Rose Marie. One of my first competition. So um, he was directly <laughs> a good man right there. Start me off, you know. Then I, I don't remember who I go to next. I think it's Coxon, Mr. Dad, a decent man too. And um, that was it. He, he taught me from there. We got a whole lot of songs. We didn't care about the money. We just we got a whole lot of songs, and um, some of the songs we maybe want to put together better. But those days we just do it. Once you have a good voice, <laughs> just do it. He always will say, "Let's do it," you know. And he always will set the rhythm, the time, Mr. Dad, and also Mr. Edward to set the rhythm and thing. It was good. So. Tell us how you, how you would uh, work those songs in the studio. You'd sing them to the musicians? Yeah, I sing them. Well, in those days, it was okay. It was a lot of different musicians. But the main musician was Skatterlight. And um, Count Hazé, 
you know, and your name uh, J.J. Riala was great man. Um, I don't want to start naming because it's going to take a lot of time. So, was Skatalite and um, some other musicians in those days, and go to the studio, sing the song to them one time. Sometimes we don't sing it; we just sing it and, and record it at the same time, live everything. And man just get the key and that's it. Gone. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Coming up, I mean, you obviously had many, many, many hits at that time for Coxon and then other people. Yeah. But I want to take it up to the festival, 1966. Okay. Bam, bam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. Why do I don't know something about that? Okay. Yeah, tell us a bit of the atmosphere around the festival, <laughs> the excitement, and all of it's that. A, kind of thing. It's a lot of excitement. You know, when, like, people believe in you, they believe in you, so you have to try and do things. Um, very, very, very nice that, in mind of the, what the audience would say, you know. So, this festival thing is very, was a very important thing, even now, but. See, it, it's not so great important now because people don't know the way to approach it, you know. And a lot of a lot of artists like Bob, Bob Marley, and the Wheelers, uh, just the Wheelers, Can see Chris, a lot of different artists, Lord Creator. Um, I think it was um, the Jamaicans. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of good artists was in, entered the time. I really, they did enter um, with me in, in, the, in those days when I sing um, the festival, like um, Bam Bam. Um, I think Derek, I don't know, Derek Morgan was in some of them too. Yeah, there's many cameos. A lot, a lot of different artists. But I came out as a number one because my song was short and it makes sense, more sense, you know? So most of the songs today, they're too long, general, and they don't make a lot of sense. You have to have, make sure the idea is there, and it's very catching, and little children can sing at the same time. Hmm. Well, that one certainly mashed everyone down there. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> If I throw certain words, like if I just throw certain words up in the air, mm -hmm. you're... I catch them. <laughs> yeah. And I could do something about it. Right. Yeah. For example, if I said to you, Ska, ska. what would that mean to you? Ska would mean very great things because Ska is one of the hop, hop music that really lift, lift up artists and Jamaica, you know? Because it's kind of new. It was new at that time. After, after um, like boogie, boogie is like R and B, you know. Ding, 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 right? After those days, then you have ska, really, and ska work with all those kind of beat too. <laughs> it was it was great. Ska is first music, and we cannot forget it. Reggae. And You're reggae. often credited with the first people being the first man to use the, the word reggae. In and the song. and um, even before that, Rocksteady was was just right there beside reggae, just a little edge. Because of um, a little small awe, you know? Because Rocksteady was just very near, you know, it's just a different kind of. Uh, a drum beat because it will be changed to reggae. And um, I was in Trainstown, I grew up in Trainstown. And um, one day, myself, Riley, and Jerry was sitting down, you know, rehearsing. And, and um, I just say, Look at that, come on. There's a guy who was next door talking to a girl 
and the girl was a nice girl, but just for argument's sake, we, all, we always say Strigger, you know, in a, in a, just a little vibe. Someone going on and you don't feel it out to him, you say, well, he's Strigger. <laughs> So we just get up and say, well, let's do the reggae rally, come, let's do the reggae here, man. And we just get up and, you know, and we, we, that's how the words just come. It's not really, I didn't know it was going to be like that. I saw it in a Guinness Book of Records. He was start to call me, <laughs> uh, you know, after that. So I think it was a good thing I did that. And I think it's, it's, it's the power of the most high. Well, that's been consistently in your music, right from Alleluia. Yeah. On. For it, it's a revival. Anyone, everyone who listened to my song after that, they told me that they feel a different spirit. That I revive the, the spirit, you know. If they was down, the music just, you know, lift them up. So I was really proud of that, you know. And it wasn't me by myself, it was the power of the most I say. Mm -hmm. Up to now, that's why if I'm doing anything, I have to do it with certain spirit to, to make sure the Father appreciates it, you know. He will, will give me the talent, really. Yeah, well. Um, <clears throat> well, after that time, a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. but. You started to go to reach out to an international audience. Yeah. After after the reggae times mm -hmm, onwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, t can you tell us what that's like to get that from an audience where yeah. they don't even know English language or Jamaican language, mm -hmm. but they still feel the vibes? Yeah, there are quite a few always in the audience who, who understand my. Um, my um it's not really a speech, it's a Hebrew scan to certain um doctrine. <laughs> I say speaking tongues that people cannot even really understand yeah. But people always understand the music, you know, and when I, when they interview me, I speak very slow that they could Listen to the every T, every S, and I speak very slow, you know. Even slower than now. But you know you understand me. I just uh, give it to you one time. <laughs> um, often we hear about where a mistake might be made in the studio, and out of that, creation. <laughs> Do you have any example of that that you could tell us about? Where that has happened to you? Where something that might look like a mistake and all of a sudden reveals itself as a... Yeah, well, this is all one I could tell you. But uh, I, once I, I wrote uh, oh, this song called It's You and Daddy. We made a mistake on it because we should not put the two, the two songs on, on, on one record. And that was a simple mistake, I think. Because we did It's You, and everybody said, yes, it's, it's a good thing. And we just draw off our daddy over on a different tape and um, put that on it. And it, it, it becomes a two-sided it, you know, in Jamaica. And, um, this side number one, that side number one, for a period of time on the two radio stations. <laughs> that was a great thing that um, happened to me. <clears throat> Musicians like Hux Brown and Jackie Jackson and mm -hmm. Winston Wright became mm -hmm. very closely associated. Very close to me, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very important because they helped me with the music. They put what they Put. I always have my ideas to do things, to and they listen to what I have and they emphasize on it and you know make it to be great. Uh, Ox Brown, there's a guy who used to be here called Ronnie Bap. 
Winston Wright. Shit. Uh, cut him. Bring her after that and bring water. That's a wet line, you know? Some more. A glass of water. Ask me, sorry, sorry. Ask me anything you want to ask, man. Right. Maybe you know if you're on glitch, right? Anything. If you want to talk about it, I talk about All it. Right. Okay. If I don't want to talk about it, I won't make you feel that way. Okay. I'm very. What I want to talk about then, when, when we. Uh -huh. And then it's that. Put it together now. Let's put it together now, right now. Yeah. Rolling, Rick. Right. Rolling. Yeah. The Maytals. Mm. Could you tell us how the group came together as a trio? and where the name came from how do you knew okay well first when i leave um my country where i come from which is um coming and mapping i go to change town automatically i hear that change town is the best so i want to go there we are the rebel is Any, anything you could think of that's bad and good i know of it I know these guys and they are very nice people too, you know? And there was, as you know, oppression caused a lot of badness, so they don't tell man like me and me. They just, they just have to fight hard to live, survive, you know? So I was in Trenton and I, I used to be a barber. I learned to trade barbering and I was into a barber shop. And I always, uh, I make my little guitar um a little guitar a little first guitar and i have it all the while and writing song with it and thing like that and attracting the anybody thought they listen to me inside the barber shop so one day rally comes around and listen to me and afterward as i somebody come to trim and i put put on my guitar and trim them and he said man where you come from and say i'm from the country sir you know all the country boy you know I'm from the country, sir. Got you. And he's elder than me, you know? But I always go with certain respect and, and manners, as you could say, you know? So I always, anyone bigger than me, I always want to honor them, you know? So he said, No, man. You don't have to say, sir, man. It's okay, man. I like, I want you to teach me how to sing, you know? And say, so, Okay. So I met him today and met Jerry about tomorrow. And they say the same thing, and they take me up, up their house on Thirteen Street, and still in the you know the and the one Guinea tree, <laughs> we sit under the Guinea tree, and you know let us show you like this, and everybody just feel nice and start to sing for them, man, and I say yeah, man, they want to join me, you know. So I start to teach them. I teach them harmony, I teach them how to write song, I teach them everything. And they teach me how to go up, you know. <laughs> so where did the name Maytals come from? So well, after singing, 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 start to sing with Coxon. Then we start to sing for, um, we sing a few songs for Prince Buster also. Sing a few songs for Pattinger. Sing a few songs for Duke Reed. Quite a, quite, a, uh, quite a lot of people, really. We just sing a few songs for them and we don't get no money, really. And with those days, maybe we get a pound or two pounds, maybe five pounds. And it's cheap for three of us. And um, it go on like that for a long time until we sing for Coxon and one day we just say, why? Well, Why that singing name, you know? Singing name. And everybody say different names. And I say different names and we're ready to go away now. We just say, metal here, sir. Love me a David. Metal. We just get up <laughs> and say, love me a David. And we just say, metal. 
So me and Tyler just come that, that, just like how I say, reggae, you know. And the name just carry on from that time until this time. Metal mean, you know, stick together in one love, you know. If someone went wrong, we just forgive him and deal with it, you know. Metal, we don't carry feelings. Anything to say, if you hurt, we just talk about it and get rid of it. So metal, like metal food, you know. We plant the yam naturally, don't put any fertilizer. Because fertilizer, you know, hurt people, you know. So, metal, if you plant one eel of yam right here and one potato, fertilize that, this one is ital, metal, it just helps you better, it gives you better vitamin in, in, in the structure, you know, it look good. So it's just metal, so I don't, we don't take anything if it's not right, so we just try to do it right and everything will become metal. <laughs> So, so of all the compositions that you've made over the years, which are some of the songs that mean... Oh, I should tell you this, because, um, uh, going back to that question, because right. I didn't really finish about um, metal. Metal, you know, metal is like everyone who is Rasta have to be metal. That means you do the right thing. Whether you're your dreadlocks, or your tall locks, or your short locks, or your comb locks, or your chim locks, whatever you want to be. It's, uh, once you say it's Rasta, you have to metal by doing the right thing. The right thing. You know, don't specialize by treating people bad, you know. Treat everyone good when you can. And um, do what you can do for the poor people. Uh, you are poor too. Rasta don't have any money. Rasta is poor. Rasta is from. Rasta is more poor. So from you is Rasta and you're rich. You have to think about it. Think what you're doing. <laughs> because, you know, Rasta means God, you know. Mean the prophet of God. You have to be metal. No matter how few want, if you have long hair or short hair. Because I don't have any long hair. You know, I don't have no long hair. I, I don't want to have no long hair. I always comb my hair, you know. Cause this is the lax, you know. If it's one of these here, it's the lax. So, it, it, you know, so it's different. You might have to understand dreadlocks and lax and Rastafari. You know, because everybody say, they be Rasta, they be Rasta, but it's, it can't feel work. Not just the hair alone. If you want to keep it here, you're free. You know, you're free if you keep it long if you want to be. But you have to metal. Metal in, don't, no, don't try to, you have to be like the, the lamb. Rasta have to be a lamb to a slaughter. So slow to hunger, you know? And charity, love, you know, free hearted, Good hearted, you always have that light shining. So it's not no bad boy style. The rest is not bad boy style as well. Because if you trouble rest too much, then even though to uh, you gotta hear earthquake, lightning, and thunder. I mean that's that's where I look at it, you know. But it's too much, too much. So um, there's a way to keep away too much, too much of everything. You have to be humble, as I say, like a little child. And that is metal, it's part of metal. You know, like metal Kali. <laughs> so, in, back to, uh, from the time coming right back, you know, it is just because people just, just know, say they used to call me Toots. As a, as a nickname, my brother called me, told me, my bigger brother told me, my bigger brother John, he, he, he was the one who called me just when I was in the cake, I mean, little baby, you know. Touch me and say, hey, Touch. And from that, that name was on me. And no one didn't know that name until long, long after there's a very great, um, this jacket called Charlie Babcock. When I came from King, when I came from country, I, 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 I met him. He loves me, man. He told me, 
And he, he interviewed me and this word just come out. And when they tell the lie on me about the ganja and I, I went to prison about it, when I came back out, I spent some of the time. I didn't spend all the time because everybody I talked to, they see that um, I couldn't be, I couldn't have things like that and give it to the police. They pinning on me and the guy, even the guy that did that to me, told me that he, somebody, I don't want to call the name, told me, told him to do it. Yeah, I just went to the festival, you know. So um, they planned very well, but they even hurt more than me because I wrote a song about it and there's plenty of people that didn't even realize what they, what they heard, yeah? Uh, but um, so I'm a prophet because I do, I, I do things that you know, a lot of people can do, you know, which I don't have, I can't even say about it because you cannot exalt yourself. But people who know me well, they tell you. Right, so things that you do let you know that you're a prophet of God. And things that you do, you know that maybe you're a prophet of the devil or a prophet of God. It's just two things, two, it's two ways sometimes, but there's a lot of different ways <laughs> most of the time, you know what I mean? So, yeah, man, so what he was saying to me again, um, I completely, yeah. Out of all the many compositions you've made over mm -hmm. the years, which are some of the favorite ones? To well, I was telling you about this song. That's why the reason why I even come on this song, 5446, because it's, it's, my, it's like they crucify me. And I was to go to England first. I was to go to England. And um, first in my career, they, they did that to me. So um, I think that's very important to talk about. And that's the most important thing, but that is very important, um, as I say, as I even give you the story just now. and. That's one of the songs, also Pressure Drop. And it's about the one, because Pressure Drop really, the pressure off a drop in order to make the people survive, you know? So it's pressure, pressure drop is really important. Um, the people need it all throughout the world. Need the pressure to drop. Pressure which is not so good. Everybody needs good. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> what are your plans now? Okay. Future? My plan for the future from 80, um, 81, I think, early. Maybe earlier. 80, I think it was 80, 81. I mean, I've been in the studio doing things, doing things of myself. Producing my song and other people's song, including my daughter, that do gospel. I produce a album for her. I don't release it as yet. <laughs> and um, other people, like my, my friends, them, Rod D, Hot Rod, Jennifer, some other uh, artists I produce too. I've been doing that. And myself, I have about 200 songs. And. Um, I don't really looking for a deal, but if a deal comes that I want, I'm going to take it. Um, I have some good songs that I use various people like Charlie's, play some of them for me. Jackie Jackson, Winston, Paul, um, a lot of different artists. Charlie's, oh yes, the Charlie's already. Um, Third World, I should say, um, 809. Everybody has something to do, but I play a lot um, instruments and them and produce, arrange and them. One more thing. A little piece about what your music means for everybody out there. Yeah, I could tell everybody out there that my music means very good because when a song have good culture and, and morals, whether you're singing about love or whatever you're singing about, it must put together with culture and well arranged with the music, with the voice, the talent that you have, the music should really go with it 
to help you direct your voice like what a lot of these young artists need today. They need the producer to, 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 to put the key where the voice is going in order, they, in order that they could live off it and to be a good singer or a good musician or a good producer. They all need to come together and do that to make the turning, make the bridge, make the change, make the vamp, make the chorus. They want to know what is chorus and what is what and what is what. Even if they know and they don't do it, they will be flagged with many strives. He that knows his master's will and do it not, will be and shall be flagged with many strives. So they should try and do the right thing. I tire to hear all these unfinished music and, and the radio station. That's not the way it's supposed to be. Reggae is reggae. And, 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 and a lot of these artists, they don't ready, they don't learn it yet. And people tell him that they're ready. They don't ready. You need to go up to somebody like uh, me, uh, Ken Booth, and, and uh, John Walt, Marcia Griffiths, go to, the, go to Rita, go to some good musicians who can tell them how to, you know, turn their voice and to, I go to a music class also, a singing class, you know, training to bring out some good things like what America had been doing, bringing out some good things. I want, when I hear a Jamaican singer sing something good, I say, boy, I feel so great. But I don't want the foolishness, you know. I don't want that, I don't want that. And, and that makes sun very hotter, make rain don't fall very often, really, because of what the people do, is not satisfied into the eyes of the Lord. And the Lord, the hurt is the Lord. It's catching everybody red and dead. And the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. For he has fallen it upon the sea and established it upon the floods. Who will I send into the ears of our Lord or who will send his own place? Us that have appearing out in the cleaning hands, who, are, who have not lifted up his hold on the vanity, now so deceitfully. We will receive a blessing from our Lord in righteousness from the God of our salvation. God, these are we are the generation of them that seek thee, that seek thy face, O Jesus. See, Lord. So lift up our heads, our gate, and be lifting them up, ever living doors. And our King of glory will come in. Who is the King of glory? Our Lord, strong and mighty. Our Lord is mighty in battle. So lift up our heads, our gates. Even lifted them up our, our, our ever living doors, and our King of Glory will come in. Who is the King of Glory? Big question have to ask. The thing that you do, is you go, where you just speak, how you live, you have to know who is the King of Glory. The King of Glory, you have to first glorify in yourself. You know what I say, whether you're black or you're white. Long last I shall say, well, we have to glorify ourselves by doing the right thing. That me want to, you know, because a lot of, a lot of things on the, on the road where I want to, I've been clearing it up in the spiritual way still, you know. Because, you know, not anything you're trying to do. You can't, you can't try to be a Rasta or I try to do, or to try to talk like Rasta. No matter what you want to be, you have to humble yourself. See how some man, you know, they just believe the way that I just saw them, I just... And the rest are not like that. The rest are, is not hagganeering. The rest is perfect, peaceful humbleness. Like if you want to pray, you can, I, could, I could pray right now until tomorrow. And then I go pray and ask God no favor. Because God do everything for me already. So I'm the son of God who, 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 who tired to hear they call upon the Father in their vain way. And they that looking on, on Father naturally, not nah God. <laughs> so if you first know that, when people call upon you, even few people in Jamaica, or your friend call upon you, you become tired sometimes, much more. Everybody are called upon, upon God. Then stop calling upon God and call upon Jesus now. <laughs> you know? And most of them, they don't even call upon the Father. God, God, I forget this thing from my father, you know. You know. I forget this thing from the father. So when you 
get the spirit from the Father now, you become God. So, it's the work, it's the work that a man can do to be whosoever you want to be. If you do bad work, it becomes the devil. If you do good work, it becomes God. So therefore, everybody have to know so well as so we are going to live and we want to change that. Too much wrong things is going on out, out there. We want to fix it up. Can't blame nobody. We not blame nobody. Nobody to change. We not blame none of them. We had blame ourselves. We must come together and we don't have to fight. The world, the world come together, you know. Is, is that thing, you know. That's why rest are so powerful because rest are come together in one way, you know. But how the rest of them become in one way, which it can't be anyhow because it's many are and few are chosen. But a lot of them, a lot of us can come together. But you know, they're divided. Rest are can't divide it, you know. Whosoever you may be, once you see, for, for you see my face, and you see me come, look at me at them. You know whether I'm a wrestler or not. Don't look at me how to really go see long locks down here. I mean, I carry that. I may respect my who carry that. And you want to carry the carry it, you free. I carry what I carry, I carry and where I carry. And me, what I have is free long locks, short locks, black man, white man. It's one metal. Love me, I for everybody. So I want to tell you what you make, I say, look out for my music, because my music give you happiness, make you revive, make you feel good, make you want to do anything you want to do. But mind what you're doing when listening to my song, because my song is a song to make you happy. When my song is done, you're not supposed to have no funny feeling against your friends. You're supposed to happy up everything and metal up everything. So, Ari. Oh, so, so don't move, don't move. <laughs> yeah, I have two more, two more questions for you. Okay, yeah, all right. All right. Can you tell um, Steve, how did, you, how did you first meet Chris Blackwell? Okay, I don't remember. But I know Chris is a very <laughs> nice virgin, you know? And listen, I remember, I, I think it's in order they come, though, you know? I think so. I think it's a little bit before the other day come and, the, and he and Perry Ansel arranged the other day come, which I didn't he really know about it. Um, but I was in the studio, me and Jerry and Riley in the studio, and a lot of us in there. And then Mr. I don't remember, but a lot of good people was there. And um, Chris was the one who really, um, I thought, He's the one, up till now. Uh, I, still, I don't know if it's Perry first started it, but I think he, he and Perry started it. And whatever it was, it was great. Not in my favor, really, <laughs> in some way, because you get a lot of money off it. But um, I think uh, it was important to be done, and Chris is the man who can do all these great things, man. <laughs> so he owes me, uh, he owes me a, a, an apology. He knows that, and I'm giving his, I'm giving him his one. <laughs> that he's one of the great who did so so much things for Jamaica music, you know. The word ska. Where does the word ska come from, Toots? Ska. Oh my gosh. Well, don't talk to me that. All I know, when I came, I heard Skatterlight doing this this thing. I don't know if it's Coxnar, Prince Buster, Beverly Kang. Cause I used to see for Beverly, he was a good man too. I hear this beat come on, we like it, and we just come with the kind of song to match with that beat. So it was Catalight, uh, Carlos Malcolm, even Byron, Byron Lee too, uh, uh, also, he's a great guy. And um, they hold me an apology, and they have to give it to me shortly. I'm giving them, it's their one, <laughs> so they will give. They know what I'm talking about, whatever. <laughs> they my friends, you know? So, uh, Scar, I think Scar belongs to, to Scatterlight, <laughs> I would say. <laughs> uh, roughly, maybe some, a lot of people involved in it. Like even in reggae, everybody involved. A lot of people involved. Man, lose them life for, for reggae. <laughs> you um, met Count Ozzy? Count Ozzy, yeah, them man have something to do with it too. Can you tell us about Count Ozzy, please? Not a lot. I know when I came from the country, um, I met him first, I went around there, because um, that was going on, that was the thing. Sorry, if you could say when I came to country, I met Count Ozzy. Yeah, yeah, when I came from country, 
Um, I, I, I really first met um, Kamontazi because I remember when I was at the barber shop and I met Judge Jerry, Judge Jerry that played with Scatterlight. Judge Jerry, I met Judge Jerry then he took me around to Kamontazi. So I was a little boy still, you know? And Kamontazi always playing his thing and he hear this cat beat and Scully, Bunny and Scully, Skitter. Some nice guys, man. Light nibs, all the man, they always doing things, you know? And Tommy, Tommy my cook, Roland Alfonso, Lester Sterling, all, all of these people, I think. Um, um, let me tell you some more. I don't know, Carson really. I tell you, Prince Buster, you name it. Do you agree? All of them, I think all of them put it together. With, and, and we just get the kind of song to, to match it. You know? yeah. Yeah, yeah, man, to match the beat. Pressure drop, 54. Any song? What do you find? Two to one, you sing a little piece of music for me. How about Pressure Drop? You can manage that? Mm -hmm. You gotta pay me for that, you know. <laughs> more, some more, man. I mean, you can't just give me that. You can't just give me that because I'm upset. I said, pressure drop, oh, pressure, oh, Lord, pressure, going to drop on you. Yeah, man, you can't, you don't want one. It's important, you know. <laughs> I mean, you have, to, you, have to, you have to dry up next time you come for some more. And maybe bring, bring me a middle. <laughs> no, I'll do something more fair. Oh. <clears throat> mm hmm. Okay, you want me to do something more? Yeah, please, I beg you. Uh, 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 say yeah now. Listen what I say. Stick it up, mister. He would have said so. Get your hands in here now. And you will get no hurt now. They say, give it to me one time. You're more satisfied, man. Two times. I don't want to push me luck. Okay, don't push it, don't push it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, match it. Two well, I can't yeah. introduction, Steve. Yeah, if you just, to the camera, yeah? Is it? Yeah. yeah. If you just introduce yourself to the camera. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, reggae fans. This is Toots from Toots and Metal saying, tune in because my music is good. It's good for you. Good for everyone in the world. I love you. Hope you love me too. One love. Okay. Well, I'm supposed to get the mic full time? Yeah. Okay. Ah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, just give me a little sample door. Yeah. <laughs>